Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we are doing another juice review that we did receive free of charge from jetpaper.com. Uh, this will not affect our review in any kind of way, shape, or form. It will be a true and honest review, as always. Uh, today we are working on the uh, blue tin still, which Mr. Proton has got down the side of him. Blue tin. And we are doing. Stuff and things. Stuff um, and things. We're doing black current notes, so guys, 15.99 for the blue tin or 15.99 for the photo bottle of each individual juice if you choose to. We're running along there, we're at number two of the blue tin. Just take that one out, since that's one wrong. Um, I'm going to go for it. Um, um, basically, chip component labels on there, tacti tactile labels on there as well, uh, both important. Uh, I'm going to take over on the rest of that one, Yeah, it has also well, got child safety caps on there as well. Um, you got a use by date on the back of this, you've got a uh, batch number, so obviously if there is any problems, they can recall the batch or sort it out. As and when they need to. As and when or what's going on with your actual juice. So another good thumbs up for them on that. Uh, oh yes, uh, that was everything. <laughs> Sorry, I just went completely blank for a second. Uh, it does say on here 80% or lower uh, PG, so we don't know exactly what it is, but we're assuming they're tailoring it to each uh, taste of uh, each flavour sort of thing. So it could be anywhere between 80 I'd and imagine lower. between 65 and 80, realistically, is where yeah. it's going to lie. Um, they, they don't feel like a 50 50 to us, so we vote no, 50, 50, 50 quite a lot. So, yeah, how's it? Uh, mm. That's on a, uh, sorry guys, that's on a uh, A7 one ohm coil on a Segeli 19 at about 3.8 volts now, I'd imagine. Um, off the bat for me, it's a, it's a black card flavor. I don't know if we even pointed it out. Um, off the bat for me, it is a and it's an 18 milligram strength. Jesus Christ, we're poor. <laughs> <laughs> um, the throat hit of these 18s, I know we've got to mention this last couple of videos, is minimal for an 18. It really is. Uh, it's uh, 2 out of 10. Um, flavor for me, it's kind of like a strong Rabina with a little bit more black card in there. Um, it does taste quite like the fruit without that kind of nasty acidic edge, if that makes sense. It's got a little bit of acidic edge in there, but it's not an overbearing acidic edge, which it would be for me if I was actually eating the fruit. I'm not a big fan of black rice themselves. Um, yeah, for me, it's, it's just, it tastes a lot like Ribena to me. It's just a very, um, if you ever got the, the juice in that, it's like, um, obviously how much concentrate you put in is obviously how strong it is. It kind of tastes more like a weaker one, kind of like you just put in a little bit too less, and uh, it still tastes like blackcurrant, don't get me wrong, but it's just not... Uh, it's not punch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not staying there, the flavour. It's just like it's very mild in and very mild out, and then it's kind of gone as soon as you finish vaping. Sort of thing. See, I kind of disagree. I get quite a strong punch in and out, but nothing afterward. So I'm getting mild. It's different tastes, guys. Um, I'm getting a very sort of slight touch of an earthiness, I want to say. It's not overbearing. It's hard to put your finger on it, but it is there just for me. I don't know about worm, but for me, it's very, very slight touch of Not really. I mean, it just tastes like Rabina to me. It's just a very weak Rabina. So, I mean, in terms of what it tastes like, it does taste like that currently. It's, um, it's got to be a 10 for that. I would like it to be a bit stronger. So, for me personally, it's going to be sitting around about a 7. I would like to point out this is actually blackcurrant squash flavour. Oh, there you go. It's not actually blackcurrant. It's blackcurrant as well. So, it's probably meant to taste like Rabina. There we go. But, uh, yeah, uh, for me, I'd like it a little bit stronger. I do tend to overfill my concentrates in my juices, so I like a lot of flavour if you watch previous juice reviews. So, yeah, about seven for me. Um, it is definitely a blackcurrant squash for me. It's definitely a ten on that. It does taste like blackcurrant squash, um, which is what we said tastes like Ribena. Um, I would like it to be a little bit stronger. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I agree with Worm on that. I think it would be nicer if it was a wee bit stronger. Not too much, but just a, a smidge more. Um, for me. I'm going to give this an eight. I don't think it's a bad liquid by any means. Uh, it definitely tastes like black currant. Um, well, black currant squash, but black currant, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. Um, it's not something that I would vape usually. Um, I'm not the, the world's biggest fan of black currants, but it is a kind of a ribena. It's almost like you're drinking some warm. You know, when you put boiled water in ribena when, yeah. you, when you're sick, it's kind of like drinking that because uh, the boiled water seems to taint it down a little bit, make it a bit weaker. Mm -hmm. That's the best kind of relation I can make to this. It's not an overly strong or overly weak flavour. It's kind of in the middle. I think if they'd have gone either way a bit more, people might have been complaining. Maybe why it's where it is. But for us personally. That little bit stronger would be nice, but by no way, in any shape, way or form, way shape or form, is this a bad liquid? No, it's it. definitely a good liquid. It's just to our taste, could be a bit stronger. But for you guys, you might like the weaker rubbing, so it might be covered for you. So therefore, it'll probably be a ten for you lot. So just bear in mind, guys, these are our personal views of these tastes. Uh, yours might differ. If you don't like blackcurrant, don't buy blackcurrant squash. Standard. You're not going to like it. Standard procedure. Um, 
we did point out the throw off these is quite minimal. I don't know if you can see uh, what this one is like one. Yeah, it's barely there. I mean, at best, it's a two. Um, and it has been off of all of these for 18s as well, which is quite strange. Um, I mean, for me, it's good, and for Worms, it's good because we don't like massive throw hit. I mean, to be honest, if we get this in 12, we're expecting no uh, throw hit at all. So that's perfect for us. Absolutely perfect. So Indeed. Um, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're going to end it there. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, I have been Mr. Proton. This has been The Worm. Catch you soon. Okay.